Jets offensive staff is starting to round into place. Got an update for you. If you appreciate it, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it. The Jets are adding wide receiver coach, formerly of the Denver Broncos. He's going to be our wide receiver coach, Zach Azini, if I'm saying his name correctly. And he was the longest tenured Denver Broncos coach until now. He survived a regime change, something to be said for that. And he got his start in the NFL Chicago Bears 2017, then went to Denver in 2018, been there ever since. So we're talking about a guy with five years or so of NFL experience as a wide receiver coach and was in college as an offensive assistant forever. Since 1999, he had been a wide receivers coach. He'd been a passing game coordinator. He was an offensive coordinator for a bevy of of different small universities before joining the NFL ranks in 2017. Now the Nathaniel Hackett brings over his former wide receiver coach to go along with Downing and the, the run game coordinator, offensive line coach we got from Tennessee, and the offensive staff has pretty much taken shape. Remember, we had to get a new wide receiver coach because Miles Austin got suspended uh, for gambling. Now with the Jets offensive staff, I know it feels meh. It feels kind of meh. It does. However, there is something to be said for experience. And this guy, unlike all the other guys, was not fired. He was not fired. He came over um, with his former coach. The fact that Nathaniel Hackett thought highly enough of him to bring him over says something. I don't know how much a wide receiver coach really matters, to be quite frank. And now there's all these, you know, there's going to be the rumors of, oh, will a wide receiver from the Broncos follow the Jets? Will the Jets trade for Jerry Judy? Dude, let's just get a quarterback first, and then we can start worrying about all these <laughs> splash trade moves and what have you. I'm really interested, speaking of wide receivers coach, and with this whole offensive staff, I'm really interested in how they're going to utilize Elijah Moore. That is the question because I had to question my own sanity. I was like, did I really overrate Elijah Moore that much? That stretch in his rookie season where he looked unguardable and his tape at Old Miss, which was downright filthy, was that a figment of my imagination? Or It seemed like last year, honestly, now, the quarterback play, we beat that with a dead horse, the offensive line injuries. We all understand there's many reasons why the product on the field was lacking. But to me, our offensive staff last year didn't really value Elijah Moore a ton. The trade request, I'll never agree with it, but he did have something to be upset about. And I don't think he was utilized the right way. It took way too long to move him into the slot. Way too many of his reps went to Braxton Berrios. And Elijah Moore's a damn good football player. He's open a ton. And I hope that this new offensive staff, for whatever quarterback we bring in, makes Elijah Moore a uh, priority in this offense. And hey, if you want the latest on Derek Carr, we'll talk about that down below. I'll see you there. Go Jets.